Hello everyone, welcome once again to Investing with a Difference. So in this uh, video, we are going to have a quick look at the state of EOS and we will also talk about uh, proxy updates. Uh, so do watch this, it's going to be a short video. So what I wanted to highlight uh, as we are approaching end of the year, it's only six months since uh, Minnet launched. You need to always remember that it's still early days. Uh, but if you look at uh, the block producers, if you had concerns and I think if you're still living in the era of FUD, uh, you should look at uh, how things are changing already. You see Liquid EOS, you see Laomao, EOS Laomao, which is doing a lot of work uh, uh, in the EOS world. Uh, we saw that in the BP forums uh, uh, in Europe earlier. Uh, EOS New York. Now, ZB, of course, is still a concern for me, but uh, most of these Hobie, ZB, these are exchange uh, uh, kind of block producers. But if you see a lot of great block producers are here, you're seeing EOS Canada in number 11, EOS New York in number 4, Liquid EOS is a pretty good. Um, then we have Attic Lab doing a lot of good stuff. Uh, and EOS 42, EOS Rio, Sweden, EOS DAC, EOS Authority. Um, these are some which we vote for and we like. So that's why I'm highlighting them. EOS Nation is now in top 21. And Gremas keeps jumping in and out, which is a great block producer. EOS Cafe has been doing amazing work. Crypto Alliance, all these are the block producer we are voting for. And uh, they are pretty doing much, much better than what we saw earlier. Of course, there is a lot of uh, concerns we talked about. I think somebody just did a, uh, also started bringing Start EOS to the front, uh, which people have concerned about, a lot of FUD around them. Uh, they are kind of dropping a little bit, but uh, overall, the chain is performing very well. We talked about uh, block activity numbers and so on, and the records uh, EOS is making. Um, now, coming back to the proxy. So well, how you can play a part, I think what is a big thing which has happened is the Chintai proxy. Uh, while Chintai has been voting uh, now with the lease tokens and uh, they have around 15 million tokens which are in Chintai lease and they have been voting for some great block producers. I think this is one of the reasons it is helping. So, why, so while there are a lot of debate around whether they should vote or not, but uh, as you know that this is run by, Chintai is run by a lot of great block producers. So it's creating a balancing effect of uh, what was happening with the, uh, the some of the exchange based uh, voting. Uh, on the other hand, uh, of course, we continue to help uh, voting uh, great block producers and investing with the difference. We have 1678 uh, of you who are voting, part of the community. Uh, but one thing is uh, the EOS DK, which is 5.34%, how you can help it. Now, let me show you quickly. It's a very, very easy thing. Uh, if you are on uh, Grema's wallet, uh, you can just go into uh this refresh proxy so if you just go to refresh proxy you just click on it and uh, you simply confirm if you have already voting for us and that's all you need to do a single button refresh proxy vote um, the best thing which i saw was uh, with scatter so if you go to scatter uh in this accounts now if if you go to your account the linked account with the, your key um you can simply go to proxy votes and you can select this uh, do you want to automatically reproxy every seven days so do select it this is like it should be blue that means it is selected and and then the list of proxies we do have our name in it in the listed proxy that is uh, investing with the difference okay let me go slowly i just missed it maybe um so we we are listed here investing with the difference you just select and you set set proxy approve it and if you select every week update you do not have to do it again uh, but if you do cannot find it here by scrolling down, you can always uh, write down investing WAD and you can do the same thing. So this is an amazing feature in Scatter 10. If you're already using Scatter, please do this. This will make sure that your vote is always refreshed and it is 0% DK. Uh, and right now we are, I think, 5% DK, which is not a great sign. If you're not on Scatter using gray mask, just go to refresh proxy. I will again, I think we had given this uh, suggestion to Gremas. I will again check with them. I'm sure they will help us uh, set up scatter like uh, feature. Uh, but again, scatter is more like you use day to day basis. So it's easy to for you to whitelist and you can do those operations. Gremas does not allow whitelisting uh, any operation. It's uh, much more secure. So I'm not sure the automatic refresh will be an option they will provide. Uh, for good reasons means i'm not complaining because gremas is supposed to be uh, one of the most secure wallet while scatter is also very very secure uh, but i think uh, you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, that's why it's better to use that for setting up your active proxies but overall i think uh, every vote counts and uh, as i said the we are making a difference things are improving on your mainnet every day 
So do play your part and please uh, make sure that this TK% comes down and use the tools available. Things are maturing very fast. Some amazing tools are coming and I hope that uh, you use them. So thank you once again for joining. All the best uh, for uh, your end of the year parties and all your plans and do uh, be responsible and have a happy new year. Thank you. Bye-bye.